I get annoyed with things pretty easily, and while most of the time the things that bug me aren't really that big of a deal, today I am going to be talking about a few things that I think are some pretty serious problems. Because these issues have been plaguing video games since literally before the dinosaurs. Okay, maybe not that long, but they've been around for a long time, and for some dumb reason have become even more of a problem in the past couple years. So here are the five most annoying things in video games. Call me old if you like, but I remember a time when video games were designed with care and consideration. If you found a strange cave and discovered a secret hidden chest, you would be well rewarded for your efforts. And every time you made a new save file and went to that cave, the chest always had the same item. So if there was some specific sword you really liked, then you would know where to get it. But these days, that kind of reward just doesn't happen. Instead, chests are plopped down in the map haphazardly and then filled with randomized loot. More like randomized garbage, because usually these dumpsters are only ever filled with the dumbest items in the game. Like, a fork. Or this stupid book. I don't want to read a book. I want a cool sword that I can cut books up with. Frickin' books. Always making me read words. I'm sick of it. I think I'm getting off topic. My point is, randomized loot sucks. Because I can spend hours of my time exploring, but I'll never get anything good out of it. And even if I do, it probably isn't the thing I wanted. This is especially frustrating in an open world game that is all about exploring. You know, like Skyrim or Ask Creed Origins. But now things are even worse. Because some game publishers are expecting us to fork over real world cash for the crap that I didn't even want to get for free. Is this some kind of sick joke? because I certainly feel sick just thinking about it. The laziest thing a developer can do when it comes to making harder difficulty levels is to just give your enemy some more health. You know, so that way you have to keep shooting at it for a couple extra minutes than you would have had to previously. Because slowing down the action always makes something more exciting. And nothing is more immersive than shooting 5 million bullets into a guy wearing a sweatshirt. Oh, I can practically taste the realism. We in the video game biz like to call this a bullet sponge. Why? Because these enemies can suck up bullets like a sponge. Look, the analogy isn't important. What is important though is I hate sponges. Oh wait. No, that's not right. Okay, bullet sponges suck. When I am in combat, I want to feel like it is life or death. Like one timely play strike, and I could destroy my enemy. Or one wrong move, and they could destroy me. And that doesn't just go for shooters either, because I hate bullet sponges in literally any game. If I'm fighting a goblin who is almost entirely naked, it shouldn't take 20 hits with my epic sword in order to kill him. He should be dead in one hit. It's absurd. Here's an idea. If you want to make a game actually more challenging, then how about making the AI a little smarter instead? You know, maybe the goblin is good at blocking attacks. That would make way more sense. But then again, that would require actual effort to do. So I guess I can't blame him on that one. If there is one thing more annoying than spongy enemies, it is being forced to grind through endless amounts of generic bad guys and perform countless uninteresting fetch quests for pointless characters. But for some dumb reason, game developers seem to think that that is exactly what gamers want to do. Either that or they just hate us. Which, honestly, wouldn't surprise me that much. Of course, I'm talking about grinding. Grinding has been around almost as long as video games themselves, and was a huge staple of the MMO and JRPG scene back in the day. But unfortunately, this terrible video game mechanic has now been introduced into almost every AAA title in recent years. Games like Assassin's Creed Origins, Middle Earth Shadow of War, and Star Wars Battlefront all force players to perform the most boring and repetitive tasks imaginable if they ever hope to get to the next story element or unlock some gun you need in order to actually succeed at the game. Now, I do get why developers would do this. Game length has become a pretty important part of game purchases, and devs love talking about how big and long and impressive their new game is. But when a game tells me I have to spend the next five hours doing the most boring thing ever, I put that game down and I never pick it up ever again. Except maybe to throw it in the dumpster. Do you remember when crafting was something new and exciting? Yeah, neither do I. Yet for some reason developers continue to shoehorn it into literally every video game ever made. Even the old games, they're retroactively going back and shoving it in. And I'm just sick of it. Wait, what? They're not doing that. Huh. Crafting still sucks, okay? What's even worse is when games force you to craft if you actually want to have the best equipment. 
For example, in Skyrim, if you want to fully upgrade your armor and weapon, you better spend the next 300 hours of your life making iron daggers so you can get your crafting skill all the way up and then waste all of your skill points on stupid smithing perks. At least in The Witcher 3, the alchemy stuff makes sense story-wise, but I'm still not going to go around and pick stupid shrubberies just so I can get a 5% increase in damage on a drowner. I don't have that kind of time. The number one thing I hate in video games, period, are stamina meters that affect how much you can run. If I want to get from here to there, I want to fucking run to it. Especially if you've made an open world game where I have to run for two real world hours in order to reach my next quest marker. It's even worse when I have to watch my character catch his fake breath. I mean, come on, he doesn't even need to eat. Why does he need to stop for a breather? It's infuriating. Even in games like Dark Messiah, where the action is pretty consistent and the levels are pretty linear, stamina bars are still annoying, especially since the amount of stamina they give the player isn't even realistic. I mean, really, this extremely fit and healthy guy can only kick three times and run for half a minute before he's literally too exhausted to move. That doesn't make any sense. He calls himself a hero. He's not even a zero. Piece of crap is what he is. All right, so those are the five things I find most annoying in video games, but I am very interested in what annoys you about video games. So make sure to head down into the comments and tell me what you think. Also, make sure to check out my other videos while you're at it. I will see you guys on Tuesday. Goodbye.